Suter Built Blower. The great thing about the Suter Built line of blowers is they can be run in any configuration. They can be set up in a horizontal or a vertical position with the shaft in any position that you need for your application. Let's take a look at some different configurations that we've got. Okay, here we've got a vertical configuration. And this is set up with the input shaft at the bottom. This blower can be set up in a bottom shaft or a top shaft, depending on your application and your needs. Over here we've got a horizontal configuration with the shaft on the right. This blower can be flipped over and run with the shaft on the left. Or, if you get a blower that's set up like this and you need it set up into a vertical position, you can just flip it to a vertical position and use it however you need it. Here we've got an example of a blower that we've got set up in a horizontal position and it's already set up with the shaft on the left. Again, if you don't need a left shaft, we can flip this blower over and we can turn it into a right shaft or we can stand it up as a vertical. Okay, we're going to learn how to flip a blower now. What we've got here is, we've got a 3 inch suitor built. This particular blower is set up in a vertical configuration with the shaft at the top. Now let's say you need it in a horizontal configuration. Maybe a right shaft. Well, that's not a problem. We'll just flip it over and make it a right shaft. Let's see how we do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the back cover off. We're going to have to change some things around. With the blower set up in a vertical configuration, we've got sight glasses at the bottom. Well, when we lay this down into a horizontal configuration, these sight glasses are going to end up at the top and the bottom, and that's not where we need them. So we're going to take the cover off so that we can put the cover where we need it and so that we can move the sight glasses and the pipe plugs around to where they need to be. All of the blowers are tested at the factory before they're sent to us and they do have a little bit of assembly lube in them and a little bit of the oil that was left over from the test procedure. So be prepared to catch the oil when it runs out when you pull the cover off. Now when you pull the back cover off, if you're careful, you won't tear the gasket and it should be able to be reused without any problems. We're going to go ahead and wipe the oil out of the cover so that it doesn't make a mess when we put it back together. There wasn't a whole lot, just a little bit. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the lifting eyelets off. Next we're going to lay it down and we're going to pull the feet off the bottom of the blower because we're going to end up putting them back onto the side. The great thing about the suitor built is this is a universal foot. It can be used in a horizontal or a vertical configuration depending on your needs. All right, we're going to set this up as a right-hand shaft. That's the most popular configuration. So in order to set this up as a right shaft, we need to mount the feet on the bottom of it. So let's go ahead and stand the blower up on its end. Let's put the foot where it needs to go. And we'll get this set up in the right configuration. set it up with the shaft on the right. Again, if you need a left shaft, you're just going to put the feet on this side, turn it over, and you'll have a left shaft. Now let's put our lifting eyelets back on it in the proper place. Okay, we've got our blower set up with the feet on the proper position. We've got the lifting eyelets at the top so that we can lift it into place. Now all we need to do is put our rear cover back on, 
and move the sight glasses around to where we need the sight glasses. So we're going to take the cover and we're going to put it on with the emblem at the top and the nameplate in the proper position. Okay, as you can see we've got the cover on in the right position now, but we've got to move our sight glasses. When this was in the vertical configuration we had the sight glasses on either side. Now we've got one on the top and one on the bottom and that's not going to work so we're going to have to change those sight glasses. I like to do this with a hand ratchet rather than an impact gun. I'm always afraid I'll break the glass in the sight glass. sight glasses into place. I'm going to use a little Teflon thread sealant on the sight glasses to keep them from leaking. It doesn't take much. Tighten those sight glasses down, good and tight so they don't leak. Be sure not to over tighten them though, they will crack since they're glass. Now we've got our fill port, which is also a vent. It used to be on top, now it's on the side, so now we're just going to move it up here on the top where the pipe plug used to be. No sealant is required on the vent, it is vented, so a little bit of sealant won't help it any. Tighten that down good and tight with our hand, we don't need to put a wrench on it. Alright, now we've got our pipe plugs that we're going to put back into place. We're going to put just a little bit of sealant on the pipe plugs also. The only other thing that we might want to do is, we've got our grease fittings on here, they're both pointing down right now. We can rotate these to point up to make them easier to get to. There you go, that's all there is to it. Okay, there you have it. We've taken this suitor built blower that was set up in a vertical configuration with the shaft at the top, and we've turned it to a horizontal configuration with the shaft on the right. 